In this episode, we'll understand how Kubernetes works in very simple terms. We're going to learn about the different components and concepts of Kubernetes using examples, and we're going to understand how it is very similar to an orchestra. Keep following until the end to get the full metaphor. Let's start. Kubernetes works by using various computer programs and resources to manage the containers it oversees. The formation of multiple resources managed by Kubernetes creates a cluster and acts like a single bigger machine. Kubernetes is what makes it possible. One of the programs is called the master. The master is kind of like the boss of Kubernetes and it's responsible for making sure everything is running the way it's supposed to. The master talks to all the other programs using APIs and gives them instructions on what to do. There are also resources called nodes. The nodes are like the workers of Kubernetes and they're responsible for running containers. There can be lots of nodes in a Kubernetes system and each one can run many different containers. These nodes communicate with the master to let it know how everything is going. When a node is having trouble doing its job, like running a container, or when the node needs to start or stop a container, it will alert the master. The master can then give back instructions on what the node should do. In some cases, these instructions can be sent to another node where other containers live. A typical example is when a node can't handle all the workload instructed by the master. Another program we find in a Kubernetes cluster is called its CD. Essentially, this program helps the cluster keep track of everything. It's a source of truth. The ITCD stores pieces of information about the resources Kubernetes manages, including all the containers and the nodes. For example, what are their needs and what are they doing? The master can then look at the ITCD to get the information they need to do its job. All in all, Kubernetes works by using several programs to manage and run containers. The master provides instructions, the nodes execute them, and its CD stores information to ensure everything runs smoothly. Now if we dive deeper, in addition to the master, nodes, and its CD, Kubernetes also has several other programs that assist it in its tasks. One of these programs is called the Kubelet. Kubelet's responsibility is running the containers on each node. Using Kubernetes APIs, it communicates with the master to get instructions, and it also talks to the containers to make sure they're executing properly what the master asked. When a container is having a bit of a bad day or needs to take a break, the kubelet can handle it. Another program is called the Kube Proxy. The Kube Proxy helps manage the networking between the containers and the outside world. It can make sure that the networking rules are being respected, in other words, it makes sure only the right containers can communicate with each other and can be reached by people or other programs that need to use them. Finally, Kubernetes also has another main program called the Kube API Server. The Kube API Server is kind of like the brain of Kubernetes. It ensures that all programs are working together and communicating effectively. It also has a lot of information about all the containers and nodes in the system, and it can help other programs get the information they need. We've been using the word containers since the beginning, but you surely heard of pods and you're probably wondering what they are. Well, in reality, a pod is just a collection of containers that share the same resources and local network. So, as you can see, Kubernetes is made up of many different programs that all work together to help manage and run all the containers. Calling Kubernetes an orchestration platform does not come out of anywhere. There are a lot of similarities between how it works and how an orchestra works. In an orchestra, the conductor is like the master in Kubernetes. The conductor is in charge of the overall performance and gives instructions to the musicians, similar to how the master gives instructions to the nodes in Kubernetes. The violinist, cellist, double bassist, flutist, horn, and trumpet players are like nodes in a Kubernetes cluster. They are responsible for playing their instruments and adhering to the conductor's directions. This is similar to how nodes in Kubernetes are responsible for running the containers while following the directions of the master. The instruments are like containers, they're here to execute the notes played by the musician. 
Pods are similar to a group of instruments that usually play together. The sheet music is analogous to the ITCD in Kubernetes. It stores the music notes, tempo, and other information indicating what each musician should play and when. Just as its CD in Kubernetes stores information about the resources available in a cluster. Finally, the ensemble formed by a group of musicians in an orchestra is like the perfect collaboration between a group of containers in Kubernetes. Containers are the talented stars crafted by the master of Kubernetes, and the orchestra puts on an incredible performance. Thanks to the musicians and the conductor's hard work. That was another episode of 5 Minutes Kubernetes. Don't forget to subscribe and share this episode with your friends to show your support. Join us on fawn.dev join. See you tomorrow for another episode.